Welcome to 30 Days of Lightroom. This is our first video in this tutorial series. We're gonna do a quick introduction to the series and we're gonna talk about the interface because it's important to know your way around Adobe Lightroom before we actually start diving really deep into all of these tabs and modules and different things that Lightroom has to offer. So for starters, I'm JT. I will be guiding you through this tutorial series. Feel free if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. There is a chance that I probably created a video that goes very in depth into exactly what your question is. So be sure to watch the entire 30 days of Lightroom playlist, which is meant for you to hit the ground running with Lightroom and teach you really everything you need to know in Lightroom in 30 days. So let's hop right into exploring our Lightroom interface. So we're here in Adobe Lightroom Classic. You can follow along with just about any version of Lightroom, whether you are using mobile or classic or CC. All of these versions of Lightroom are very similar. Sometimes the names of the tools change ever so slightly, but they are very close and you can learn some of the same techniques and same processes for developing your photos here in Lightroom in just about any version. So let's start talking about our interface. We'll start from the top and kind of work our way around counterclockwise. First of all, we have our top toolbar right here. And up on the top, you will see our different modules, library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print, and web. The primary ones we're gonna be covering in this tutorial are library for organizing our photos and develop for processing or editing our photos. It's really simple to switch between modules with just the click of a mouse. And you'll notice that your interface changes just a little bit. You will either gain or lose some tools depending on which module you are in. So sometimes you'll notice if you accidentally try and start editing in your library module, it won't work because you are not in your develop module. I accidentally do that all the time, so don't worry. We're not really gonna get too in depth into our map module, which you can go ahead and you can add different GPS coordinates and link those to your images, things like that. Not really gonna get into book where you can create books or slideshow or print or web, because while all of these modules are useful, we're really gonna dig into our organization and our editing because that's really 99% of what you need to know to really hit the ground running with Lightroom and really master Lightroom. So let's keep talking about our interface. These are our modules up here. So when we refer to modules, like our develop or our library module. This is what we're talking about up at the top of our window. And a quick tip for all of the sections here, you can make all of these go away and hide them or make them appear again and unhide them by hitting these little arrows. And that is true for all of these little arrows in Lightroom. Over here in our little basic tab, we can hit the triangle to open or hide. Same thing here on the left-hand side, we can open, we can hide, we can hide our navigator, we can unhide our navigator. Same thing at the bottom with our film strip. And that just gives us either more or less room to see our photo. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but you can see our photo here is in the center. This is really our working space with our image. When we click our image once, that is to zoom in, and then you can see our little mouse turns into a hand where we can click and drag our image around. We can also click once again to zoom out. We can also hit the letter Z on the keyboard to zoom in and zoom out. But that is primarily what you will be doing in this center portion, your workspace here. You can also right click and you can see you get a whole bunch of menu options. And I will have in-depth videos on most of these options such as organizing with collections, merging your photos, flagging, rating, labeling, creating virtual copies, exporting, all of that good stuff. So to get out of this menu, you can just left click. The other great thing about Lightroom that I'd like to add is that there are about a dozen ways to do everything. So for example, if I wanted to add a rating to my photo, which we will have a video on, I can right click, I can set the rating here, I can right click down here, I can set the rating. I can also press the numbers one through five on my keyboard as a shortcut to set the rating. So if you know how to do something already in Lightroom and I teach you a different way, just know that your way isn't wrong. There are multiple different ways to do a lot of different actions here in Lightroom. So moving right along to the left-hand side of our window, you can see we have our navigator. I typically keep my navigator open so I can see where exactly 
I'm zoomed into my image. This is just like Photoshop. You can decide whether you want your image to fill our workspace window here. You can go to a two to one view and look at your image at twice the resolution. When you zoom in, I typically go to fit. So it fits to my window when I want to see the entire image. And then I'll select either one to one or two to one for my zoom. So again, zooming out, I will have it fit the window. I can just click fit while I'm zoomed out. And then while I'm zoomed in, I'll click two to one, one to one. You also have the option to hit this little drop down here, eight to one, 11 to one. Those are a little excessive, but I typically keep mine at two to one or one to one. And I like seeing the details in my photograph. So I'm going to click again to zoom out. Moving on over here on the left, we will have presets. We can hide and unhide our presets, our history of the edits we have made to our photo and our collections for organizing our photos. Again, we can hit these little arrows to hide and unhide all of these tabs. We can also hide this entire section over here. That just gives us a little more space here if we want in the center of our workspace. So moving on to the bottom, you can see we have a film strip at the bottom. This shows us all of the images from our shoot. So we can look at all of our images just by clicking. You can see all of our photos of Ashley here. We have more of these images, so we can just click and drag our little bar to look at more of our images. We can also use our scroll wheel on our mouse. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, I find that very efficient. And again, we can hide and unhide our film strip at the bottom. And we will get into more about collections and filters in an upcoming video. So moving on to the right hand side, if you think of Lightroom like a giant canvas, we're painting our picture right here. The right hand side of your image is essentially like the different paints you're going to use to paint your image. These are all the editing tools we have available to us. And throughout this tutorial series, there will be a video on each one of these tabs so you can really get in depth and know everything there is to know about all of these tabs. And again, hit these little triangles to hide and unhide. And you can see we also have these little boxes. It's like a light and a dark box. It's kind of a light switch here. If we were to make an edit in one of these tabs, we'll add a little bit of contrast here. We can hit this little light switch to turn that tab on and off to see a quick before and after of what our image looks like without the effects of this tab. Another shortcut that I think is important to know is F for full screen. And while you're in full screen, you can zoom in. Sometimes it takes a second to load, but it's awesome to look at your image at full resolution, taking up your whole window. You can hit F again to go back and we can zoom out. We can also hit backslash to see what the before raw version of our image looked like and hit backslash again to see our edit. So again, you can go backslash and see the before and after of the edits you've done to your image. That's extremely, extremely important to do. So you make sure that you're not over editing your image and you're not taking it too far. Another trick I'd like to show you is if you take your mouse and you right click over to the side of the image, you can see we have options for background color. We can change our background to white to mimic paper or a gallery. You can change it to black or anything in between. I typically like going with a medium gray or a dark gray because sometimes I spend hours and hours in Lightroom and it will start to hurt your eyes if you look at too bright of a screen for too long. I do like to preview what my image would look like. For example, if it were in a frame and I had a nice white mat or a nice white border, or if it were hanging on a white wall. So this is great to preview and I go for a medium gray or a dark gray to do my editing or post processing. So those are really the basics of the Lightroom interface. It's really not that complicated. I know it can look intimidating at first glance, but I promise we're gonna dive deep into all of these tabs, all of these modules, all of these sections, and we're gonna teach you guys Lightroom in less than 30 days, and we're gonna have you hit the ground running, and you will be able to master all of these tabs and create awesome images because that is the entire goal 
of this 30 Days of Lightroom series. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to Run and Gun for all of my videos and make sure you watch all of our 30 Days of Lightroom tutorial series so you can master Lightroom. That's really all for this video. I look forward to seeing you guys in our future tutorials. And until next time, get out and go shoot.